Hi everyone, welcome back to another Bochina Macmere Knot Series tutorial. My name is Nicole and in today's tutorial we will be going over an alternating Lark's head chain. Before we begin, you will need four long strands of cord to practice this knot pattern. What I've done is I've taken two cords at 150 centimeters long each, folded both of those cords in half and tied an overhand knot at the top so that there are four vertical cords hanging underneath the overhand knot. To begin, we will start with the far left cord and we're going to make a vertical lark's head knot with the two middle cords as anchor cords. So to make this alternating lark's head knot chain pattern, we're going to alternate the lark's head knots on the left side and on the right side. Now bring the cord end through the back and through the loop on the left side. Then pull on the left cord to tighten and you have made your first vertical lark's head knot. So typically horizontal lark's head knots are great for starting a macrame project because it is a mounting knot, but the vertical lark's head knot is great for creating knot patterns such as chains and sennets. Now we're going to take the right cord and repeat the same thing underneath the vertical lark's head knot we just made, but this time we're going to go in the opposite direction of the lark's head knot that we made above. Now we're going to go back to the left cord and we're going to repeat this alternating Lark's head knot pattern several times. Chains and sennets are great for making plant hangers or adding on layers to wall hangings. If you guys are interested in more step-by-step -step chains or Senate patterns just like this one, you can check out my Bochi Knot Macrame Knot Series playlist or you can check out my 50 Knots and Senates tutorial where it includes a link to download my free 50 Knots and Senates ebook as well. After you've made several alternating Larsa knot chains, this is what the pattern looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you guys have any other knots and sentences you guys would learn. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.